Engineering is derived from the Latin terms ingenium, which means cleverness, and ingenier, which means to devise. Humanity has been harnessing its intelligence to create objects that assist us in solving life's issues for centuries. There are many outstanding civil engineering projects in the world, but in this list we focus on those that stand the test of time. Number 1. Neom City this Saudi Arabia city of Neom is being constructed in the Tabuk province in the country's northwest. It is intended to use smart city technology and serve as a tourist attraction. The location is in the Gulf of Aqaba, south of Jordan, east of Egypt, across the Red Sea, and the north of the Red Sea. It will span 170 kilometers along the Red Sea's shore and encompass a total area of 26,500 kilometers square. Major portions of the project were supposed to be finished by 2020, and an expansion was supposed to be finished by 2025, but Saudi Arabia is behind schedule. Estimated costs for the project are $500 billion. Neom is a closed joint stock company that Saudi Arabia stated it had established on January 29, 2019. This firm, which is controlled entirely by the Saudi Arabian Sovereign Wealth Fund Public Investment Fund, aims to develop the Neom Economic Zone. It is intended for the project to run entirely on renewable energy. Experts have expressed doubt about the mega project's goals. Only two structures have been built so far, and most of the planned area is still a desert, according to a 2022 story of The Economist. Number 2. Silk City A substantial infrastructure project called Silk City is now being built in northern Kuwait. As part of the first phase of the Silk City project, which also includes the Mubarak Al Kabir port that is now under development, the Sheikh Jabbar Al Ahmad Al Sabah Causeway opened in May 2019. The Belt and Road Initiative of China includes the Silk City project. The highest structures in the world will be located in Silk City, a 96.5 square mile or 250 square kilometer development. The height of the Burj Mubarak Al Kabir Tower, which will be 1,001 meters tall, was carefully chosen to honor the 1,000. 2001 nights. A new airport, hotels, a wildlife reserve, spas and parks will be part of the city. It should be finished in around 25 years. The Burj Mubarak Al Kabir, which is one of the project's key features, would be 1001 meters tall and designed to resemble the collection of Arabian folk tales known as the 1001 Arabian Nights. Typically, skyscrapers have no more than 80 floors. Even though the Mubarak Al Kabir Tower would have more stories, the elevators would need to be double deckers because of how much room they take up. When Silk City is finished, the free trade zone will encompass hotels, residential areas, and natural regions, in addition to commercial and business amenities. The 36 km long Sheikh Jabbar Al Ahmad Al Sabah Causeway connects northern Kuwait to Kuwait City. Number 3. Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor Four greenfield industrial smart cities or nodes are now being created as part of the Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor DMIC. The Commerce and Industry Ministry declared that it will note the states of Maharashtra, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh where significant trunk infrastructure construction has already been completed. Up to 138 plots in these cities have been allocated to companies with investments totaling more than 16,750 crore rupees. Companies like Hyosung, South Korea, Haya, China, NLMK, Russia, Amul and Tata Chemicals are anchor investors in these cities' nodes. Additionally, 23 projects and nodes in additional industrial corridors are currently in various phases of planning and development. The report states that the primary goal of the industrial corridor program is to create greenfield smart industrial cities with sustainable plug-and-play ICT-enabled utilities in order to encourage manufacturing investments in the nation by providing the industries high-quality, sustainable, reliable and resilient infrastructure. The government has authorized a total of 11 such corridors, which include up to 32 projects, and will be built out in four stages. Number 4. Jubail 2 The Jubail 2 project is widely regarded as the biggest civil engineering undertaking ever. It is made up of an 83 km square industrial development that was begun in 2005 in Jubail, a city located 490 km northeast of Riyadh. There are currently 380,000 people living in Jubail. When the project is finished, the size of the current city will probably have doubled. Up until 1975, Jubail was a fishing community. After that, the first Jubail industrial city was erected. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia decided a significant expansion was required at the turn of the century. Over a 22-year period, the project is being built in four phases. Phase 1 has already been constructed and comprises eight industrial land units. Additional seven blocks, numerous service industries and power facilities are included in phases 2 and 3. Four blocks are included in phase 4 for the smelting and aluminium sectors. The kingdom wants to boost the mining sector. 
Earth moving for the project totals 35 million cubic meters. Additionally, 4 meter diameter pipelines are being installed to supply the companies in the industrial complex with seawater in order to meet the demand for cooler water. Bechtel is responsible for both the original and the new Jebel II industrial cities design and administration. The cost of the project is pegged at $3.8 billion. In 2024, the full project is anticipated to be finished. Number 5. South-North Water Transfer Project the South to North Water Diversion Project is another name for the South North Water Transfer Project. China is undertaking a multi decade infrastructure mega project. The ultimate goal is to use three canal systems to transport 44.8 billion cubic meters of fresh water yearly from the Yangtze River in southern China to more arid and developed north. The Grand Canal is traversed by the eastern route. The Grand Aqueduct connects the upper portions of the Han River, a tributary of the Yangtze River, with Beijing and Tianjin through the central route. The western route connects the provinces of Qinghai, Gansu, Shanxi, Shanxi, Inner Mongolia, and Ningxia, with three Yangtze River tributaries near the Bayankala Mountain. As early as 1952, Mao Zedong raised the concept of a massive engineering undertaking to solve China's water woes. There is a lot of water in the south, but not much in the north, he allegedly said. If at all feasible, it would be wise to borrow some water. In 2003, construction started. One of the most complex and costly engineering projects in history, more than $79 billion had been invested by 2014 alone. The eastern and central roads' construction expenditures were projected to cost $37.44 billion in 2008. Less than 25% of the overall cost of $7.9 billion has been budgeted by the government at the time. 26 billion of that came from the federal government and special accounts, 8 billion from local governments, and about 20 billion came in the form of loans. The eastern and the central roads' construction cost was about 30 billion yuan as of 2008. The project's costs have dramatically escalated. Number 6. London Crossrail Construction on the Crossrail Railroad is primarily taking place in central London. By connecting two significant railway lines that end in London, it aims to build a high-frequency hybrid commuter rail and rapid transit system spanning the capital from suburbs to the west to the east with two main lines, the Great Eastern Main Line and the Great Western Main Line. The Elizabeth Line will be named in honor of Queen Elizabeth II, who will inaugurate the line on May 17, 2022, during her Platinum Jubilee. The project was approved in 2007, and building on the center portion and connections to current lines began in 2009. On May 24, 2022, the central portion of the line running between Paddington and Abbeywood began operation with 12 trains per hour. The National Audit Office predicted that the total cost to build a railway under the Crossrail project will be £18.9 billion. In 2010, a budget of £14.8 billion was established for it, and it grew over time. The new 9-carriage class 345 trains will operate at frequencies in the centre segment of up to 24 trains per hour in each direction once the Elizabeth Line is fully operational in May 2023. It will split into two branches at either end of its central core services, in the west to Reading and Heathrow Central, and in the east to Abbeywood and Shenfield. Number 7. Great Man-Made River Project The Great Man-Made River is a system of pipes that transports fresh water across Libya from the fossilized Nubian sandstone aquifer system. It is the biggest irrigation project ever undertaken. The project makes use of a pipeline system to transport water from Libya's southern Nubian sandstone aquifer system to cities along the country's populated northern Mediterranean coast, including Tripoli and Benghazi. Up to 1,600 kilometers of water can be covered by it, and it provides 70% of all the fresh water consumed in Libya. Its website claims that the 2820 km underground network of pipes and aqueducts is the greatest in the world. It has more than 1300 wells, the majority of which are above 500 meters deep, and it provides 6.5 million cubic meters of fresh water daily to towns like Tripoli, Benghazi, Serte, and others. It was the eighth wonder of the world, according to the late Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi. More than 350,000 acres of agricultural land will be irrigated as part of the largest irrigation project ever undertaken. It will also significantly enhance the amount of portable water that is accessible in most of Libya's urban areas. Subsurface Nubian sandstone aquifer system will provide the river with water.
In 2030, the project is expected to be finished. Number 8. King Abdullah Economic City The former king of Saudi Arabia, King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, announced the mega-project King Abdullah Economic City in 2005. It was the only one of six mega-projects that were announced in 2005 to actually be started. Contrary to the ambitious goals of the project, the Financial Times reported in 2018 that the city had not drawn investment or developed into a center for logistics and manufacturing. The city had 7,000 residents as of 2010. The city, which has a total development area of 173 kilometers, is situated along the Red Sea coast, about 100 kilometers north of Jeddah, the country's commercial center. The distance from the city to Mecca is around 1 hour and 20 minutes, the distance from Medina is 3 hours by vehicle, and the distance from all other Middle Eastern capital cities is 1 hour by plane. The city is being constructed by Imar Properties at an estimated cost of 207 billion rials. Imar Properties, a public joint stock corporation based in Dubai and one of the biggest real estate firms in the world, and the Saudi Arabian General Investment Authority, the project's primary facilitator, formed a Tadawul listed business. The city is a component of Saga's ambitious 10x10 program, which aims to make Saudi Arabia one of the top 10 competitive investment destinations by the year 2010. It also includes another five economic cities. The city's first phase was finished in 2010, and its completion as a whole is anticipated for 2020. By attracting direct investments from both domestic and foreign sources, the city hopes to diversify the country's oil-based economy. The city also hopes to contribute to the creation of up to a million jobs. KAEC has planned to have a 2 million person population when it's finished. There were only 7,000 people living there as of 2018. The city's port is a component of the Maritime Silk Road, which connects the Chinese coast to the Mediterranean Sea via the Suez Canal, and then to Trieste in the Upper Adriatic region, which has ties to Central and Eastern Europe. Number 9. Al Maktoum International Airport Al Maktoum International Airport, sometimes referred to as the Dubai World Central, opened on 27 June 2010 in Jabal Ali, a city 37 km southwest of Dubai, United Arab Emirates. It's the focal point of Dubai South, a planned complex of homes, businesses and warehouses. The airport will house several means of transportation, logistics and value-added services, including manufacturing and assembly, in a single free economic zone when it's fully finished, which was once anticipated in 2027. It will encircle a 35,000 acre, which is a 14,000 hectare area, 12 million tons of freight, and between 160 million and 260 million passengers are expected to transit through the airport each year. Only a small number of airlines focused mostly on freight activity and ran passenger services out of Al Maktoum International Airport as of 2021. The project's completion has not yet been formally confirmed. The complex was supposed to be finished by 2017, however, due to the global financial crisis of 2007 to 2012, that date was later pushed back to 2027. The airport complex has also been known as Jebel Ali Airport City, Jebel Ali International Airport, and Dubai World Central International Airport. It bears the name of the former ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Maktoum bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The Dubai government has predicted that the airport will cost $82 billion in total. Another term for Dubai's Dubai Central Airport is White Elephant. Number 10. California High Speed Railway In the American state of California, a high-speed rail network that is being built with public funding is known as California High Speed Rail. It aims to provide a one-seat ride between Union Station and San Francisco in 2 hours and 40 minutes, covering a distance of 380 miles, which is 610 kilometers, connecting the Anaheim Regional Transportation Intermodal Center in Anaheim and Union Station in downtown Los Angeles with the Salesforce Transit Center in San Francisco via the Central Valley. Future Phase 2 extensions are intended to connect north to Sacramento and south across the Inland Empire to stations in San Diego County. As funding becomes available, it will be deployed in a number of self-sustaining portions. The project has received a lot of criticism for being problematic, being much behind schedule relative to what was previously anticipated, and having difficulty with management, acquiring land and engineering. The Central Valley currently has 119 miles of right-of-way under construction, but to extend the system to Merced and Bakersfield and create a functional HSR system segment, an additional 52 miles are required at the ends. By the beginning of March 2023, construction is anticipated to be finished.